guys, welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I review new car trucks and SUVs on YouTube. Today, we are in the new 2020 BMW M2 competition, courtesy of Apple BMW in York, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. Needless to say, this thing is going to be fun. I am quite excited to be in this one today. There is tons of performance packed into this little package. And so as you can imagine, I will be going over everything about this one, including testing out acceleration, power shifters, braking, steering feel, all that fun stuff. So I do hope you guys enjoy this one as much as I'm about to. So what do you say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing. And so MSRP for the M2 comes in at $58,900. And when it comes down to the power plant, powering this little beast is going to be a three liter twin power turbocharged inline six cylinder, not the four cylinder that BMW sometimes uses, but the six putting out 405 horsepower at 5,200 RPM. 406 pound-feet of torque, approximately 2,300 RPM, sent to the rear wheels through a standard six-speed manual. That's awesome. Or there is an optional transmission that we have today being the M-Tuned DCT or dual clutch transmission. That is a $2,900 option if you wanted to go that route, but that does include paddle shifters like I was saying. So if you're going to have a non-manual transmission in a car like this, dual clutch is definitely the way to go just based off my experience. And again, we'll test that all out in the second year. But in the end, zero to 60 time it is going to differ amongst the transmissions the manual is going to push you out around 4.2 seconds according to bmw 3.8 seconds for the dual clutch that is quite a substantial difference and that's typically how it works actually but anyways mpg numbers come in at 17 in the city 23 on the highway of course taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of acceleration test or anything like that there is some drive mode buttons just to the left of the shifter it's going to adjust things like the throttle response the shift points in the case of the dual clutch at least not the manual obviously steering sensitivity as well i actually just put it in sport plus steering feel steering feel is insanely heavy and in a car like this it immediately points you in the direction that you want to go perhaps the first thing i noticed in the m2 i absolutely love that but having said that what do you say let's go ahead and uh let's put it in manual shift mode i'm just going to slide the shifter all the way to the right that's going to give me full control over the shifting and Let's go ahead and uh, test out the paddle shifters here and let's see how quickly they're gonna react for us. All right, you guys, here it is. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that was crazy. Quite honestly, you guys, I was expecting a little bit of spinach because the power is all being sent to the rear wheels in a very small car, but dang, if that thing didn't connect to the road like no other, let me tell you, I need some new tires on my Mustang because this acceleration was amazing. Instant acceleration, you can feel it in your stomach and those paddle shifters, I'm sure you guys saw it, I'm sure you guys heard it. Instantaneous, absolutely no delay whatsoever. This is a truly fun car to drive. That was, that was quite amazing, I love that. But so anyways, to give control back to the M2, simply just slide the shifter back to the right. That is gonna give control back to the car here. And as always to go along with that, braking is equally important as we are pulling up to a red light right here. And so when it comes to the braking setup, M compound four wheel ventilated disc brakes will come standard, but check out the brake size on these things. 15.7 inch ventilated front discs, 15 inch ventilated rear discs, those are some massive rotors for the size of this car, let me tell you. Six piston front calipers, as expected, I guess, with that size of a rotor, but 60 to zero stopping distance comes in at 108 feet, which is pretty much as expected there. That's according to Motor Trend, by the way. Braking feel is absolutely wonderful. Definitely no brake pedal delay. Very firm brake pedal, I will say, immediately brings you to a stop, so I absolutely love that. But to the touching on suspension and handling a little bit, up front, you're gonna get a double joint spring strut front axle in the back five link rear axle twin tube gas pressure eye shock absorbers that's all pretty much standard for the most part but active m rear differential also coming standard essentially what that does is it sends torque to the rear wheel with the most traction it's not only going to increase handling actually 
but acceleration as well as I can clearly attest to because that acceleration was breathtaking. And again, as far as the steering feel goes, it is going to adjust dependent upon the driving mode that you're in. But having said that, the M2 also comes with an M developed electric power steering. So it's gonna give you an even better steering feel again, instantly pointing you in the direction that you wanna go. And again, that might be my favorite part about the M2 is the steering feel. It really is instantaneous. The second you turn it, there's no dead spots in the steering either, which is obviously a very good thing in a car like this, but absolutely amazing steering feel to the M2. As far as ride quality goes, you can certainly feel a good bit of the road, I will say that, but that's pretty much as expected in a car like the M2, so that doesn't disappoint me whatsoever. Quite honestly, it's a lot smoother than my Mustang, having said that, but I've done quite a bit to that car. But nonetheless, ride quality is pretty much as expected. As far as cabin noise goes, it's quiet right now because I'm coming up to a red light here, but still really all I'm getting as far as cabin noise goes is that beautiful exhaust sound, the M-developed exhaust that we have here. We'll get to the exhaust clip later in the video, of course, but that's really all I'm getting as far as cabin noise goes. So that is actually a big plus for me at least. So I definitely love that as well. As far as visibility goes, I can actually see perfectly fine out the back. So definitely no issues with visibility. And again, this is a smaller car. So really you shouldn't have any issues there. Another perk with visibility, there's rain sensing windshield wipers that come standard on the M2, meaning whenever the M2 detects any kind of mist or rainfall, it's gonna automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you. One last thing you gotta worry about so you can better focus more of your attention on enjoying the drive. And this is 100% an enjoyable drive in this thing but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of this beautiful 2020 bmw m2 competition all right you guys here she is the 2020 bmw m2 competition finished in long beach blue metallic in case anybody was curious and by the way and when it comes to those paint options alpine white is the only free color option in case you were curious all the other colors are going to run 550 dollars in case you wanted to go with one of the others but let's go ahead and start up front on this one kidney grill with gloss black twin slats will come standard m2 designation found in the corner of course and you will find gloss black grill surrounds that come standard with that as well to the bottom corners there front air curtains located there it kind of helps direct air around the wheel and tire combination and of of course this whole front end as far as the styling goes has been completely optimized for the best aerodynamics possible and I can attest to that this car is a blast to drive to the sides LED headlights coming standard they will of course come with the automatic feature meaning when it starts to get dark out at night they will turn on automatically for you there LED daytime running lights also coming with that and I did want to mention there is an optional lighting system there are adaptive full LED headlights available with the executive package that goes for $1,200 we actually do have that today and adaptive meaning when you're going around a bend at night perhaps on the back roads, those headlights will swivel based on your steering angle, better help illuminating what is around that bend so you're less likely to hit any deer or any other rodents or even people for that matter. So they're definitely a plus as well. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the side of the M2 here. To start, gloss black window surrounds come standard. Of course, you have that M2 designation found in the front fender there. Taking a look at those side mirrors, they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors. They will come heated with integrated turn signals. And the cool thing about the side mirrors, specifically with BMW's M cars, it kind of has that C-shaped design to it. So love the design of the side mirrors here in the BMW M2, just like all the other M cars, like I was saying. Take a look down at the wheel setup though. 19 inch multi-spoke alloy wheels do come standard. I will say there is an optional gloss black 19 inch multi-spoke alloy wheels at no extra cost. So essentially there's another option. What you're looking at right now, just in a gloss black finish to kind of tie in with the gloss black accents found throughout this one. So really you can go with either setup. So again, that's no extra cost for you. Let's go ahead and make our way to the back of the M2 shark fin antenna up top as expected. There is a small lip spoiler on the back of that trunk there gloss black m2 competition badging of course it definitely looks good back there led tail lights then of course just below it all there is a matte black rear diffuser and perhaps my favorite part i told you guys there was going to be an exhaust clip this is it there is an m tuned dual exhaust setup with quad dark chrome tips a lot of times you'll see the regular chrome but i love the dark chrome definitely looks good with all the other black accents on the m2 but as always as promised you guys know what is coming next here is that exhaust clip. Oh 
right so now since we are around back when it comes to opening that rear trunk there is a button on the key fob if you like just simply press that once opened up cargo capacity is going to come in at 13.8 cubic feet if that was not enough space though those rear seats do fold down for quite a bit of extra space of course if you needed it there making our way to the rear legroom 33 inches even is how much space you're going to have back there i'll give this a shot for reference i mean even six feet tall this is how much space i have back there definitely better left for small children of course you probably could move up the passenger side front seat a little bit to accommodate an extra person in the back maybe if you wanted to do that but definitely better left for small children back there and for those rear seats there's also m and ball found in the upper portion of the seating I liked that of course you have the M colors on the seat belt that's found at both the back and the front of course and there's a little bit of storage between the back two rear seats as well but make our way to the front seats 14 way power adjustable M sport seats coming standard and these seats do have a single piece back panel so that's more of a sport oriented race car type seat that's cool power side bolsters one of those features that I love on BMW it definitely hugs you in place better around the turns that's something you're gonna love especially Especially in a car like this four-way power lumbar comes standard memory settings for up to two different drivers front seats are actually heated as well so that is definitely a big plus there too and again you have the m2 designation found in the upper portion of the seat and very very comfortable seats and again because of the power side bolsters definitely held me in place perfectly driving some back roads in this m2 so absolutely 100 on point with the seating taking a look at the steering wheel it is tilt and telescoping it is leather wrapped it will come heated if you were to go with the executive package like we have today that heated steering wheel buttons located just to the left of the shifter there so that's definitely a big plus there as well and then make your way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you do have all of your buttons found on one side of the key essentially lock unlock the button pop the rear hatch and by the way the lock button is the bmw logo in the middle there but surprisingly this doesn't have the uh, m colors on the side of the key like a lot of the other m cars do with bmw but Still, it's a key, who really cares? But nonetheless, let's go ahead and start this one up. To do that, all I'm going to do in this case is simply put my foot on the brake. There is a bright red engine start button found just kind of to the right, down a little bit of the gauges there. But once started up, speedometer is all the way on your left, tachometer is on your right. There is the M2 designation within that tachometer. You will find a ton of other information as well, like how many miles you have left until you hit empty. There's what gear you're in if you're shifting through manually. There's also some navigation information found at the bottom portion there. There's your speed limit recognition technology, letting you know what the speed limit is of any given road. That's definitely nice. Overall, it's pretty much as expected. There's no digital gauge cluster on the M2, but still it looks perfectly fine up there. But now make your way to overall interior quality. Anthracite headliner comes standard. Power moonroof is optional. Doesn't come standard, but it's optional for $1,050. So it is there if you wanted it. Universal garage door opener for up to three different garage doors can be found just underneath of that rear view mirror. We do have that. Ambient lighting comes standard. Wireless phone charger is going to come with the executive package. And overall, M2 is finished just how I would want it to be finished. Some of the pluses of the M2, you do have suede or Alcantara. It's one or the other. A lot of suede and Alcantara accents found on the parking brake as well as on the doors. And they're accented actually with that blue contrast stitching as well. So I absolutely love that. But perhaps the first thing I noticed when I got in the M2 was the carbon fiber look weave accenting. So it's not carbon fiber but it is a texturized weave accent. So it goes around the climate controls. It's also found on the doors and right around the circular dial and buttons for the infotainment. But this is cool because usually you find a very smooth accent, but I love that it's texturized. It's something different, something that you don't usually see really on any other cars out there, even other BMWs. So I absolutely love that it's texturized in the BMW. It's definitely something different. I love that. But anyways, like I was saying, you do have dual cup holders, 12 volt power outlet, USB charging port, of course, automatic climate control. You have a little compass in the rear view mirror there, but overall finished very nicely and pretty much what I would expect in a car like the BMW M2. But now let's make our way to the tech display though. 8.8 .8 inch high resolution display screen will come standard. It is voice activated, but there is a circular dial and buttons just behind the shifter. That's the other way you can control it, of course. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, factory navigation coming standard as well. You can check out your ambient lighting if you wanted to. And by the way, when it comes to those ambient lights, colors i know some other bmws offer 11 different colors but with the m2 you have a choice between classic and sport and then of course you can adjust the brightness of those colors 
just below that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that's all the way up and it is so cool. So that's how you're gonna be able to adjust the ambient lighting up on that tech display as well. And of course you can check out your radio settings. And by the way, when it comes to the sound system, there is one sound system for the M2. It is a 12 speaker Harman Kardon surround sound system with 360 watts. So I do believe you guys know what is coming next. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio. Let's see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. insane amount of bass really a ton of loudness really 360 watts for the size of the m2 is more than enough and really again that bass was absolutely ridiculous so plenty of a sound system for the m2 but last thing i wanted to mention to you guys though on the tech display at least is when you do put this one in reverse you will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you which is always is going to lead us into safety and so starting with the most important part the bmw 2 series is an iihs top safety pick so that's certainly a good start front side side curtain airbags come standard but in addition to that driver and passenger side knee airbags as well in the back, you're going to have latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Tire pressure monitoring system comes standard. Auto dimming rear view and driver's side exterior mirror is going to come standard. Also standard, some of the more advanced safety features, uh, daytime pedestrian detection, frontal collision warning with city collision mitigation, lane departure warning as well. And so as far as my final thoughts go on the BMW M2, this is an insanely fun little car. Great handling, great steering feel, especially when you put it in that Sport Plus mode for the steering. It's absolutely amazing. So ultimately the question for me comes down to, is it worth the money that you're gonna be spending for it? And for some people it probably is going to be but the comparison that immediately comes to my mind is i have a ford mustang gt for almost half the price you can hit 60 in 3.9 seconds with that car or or you can hit it in 3.8 seconds in the bmw m2 for quite a bit more money quite honestly but then again they are still two completely different animals this is a much more compact car definitely feels better around the turns without a doubt i feel like this car is more of a circuit track kind of car whereas my mustang would be a lot better fitted for drifting perhaps because you can kick out the rear wheels a lot easier i feel like in my mustang than i could in this thing because this thing grips like crazy m2 has crazy amounts of grips and that makes it extremely fun to drive on the street quite honestly because you have instant acceleration amazing handling so ultimately i think it just depends on what you're looking for yes this is a blast to drive and if you're a bmw guy this thing is definitely where it's at because again the grip is amazing the steering feel is amazing all in all i guess i'm saying it's completely your choice but this is an insanely fun car to drive so i certainly had a ton of fun in it so that is about it for this one you guys though thank you so much for watching feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there if you like be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're in new car reviews that is what we do here on this channel after all do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and i will see you guys all in the next video stay gold